Rainforest Cafe, known as a wild place to shop and eat, has been a part of nearly everyone's lives, including me. This popular and iconic restaurant chain is best known for its unique rainforest theming and not cartoony singing animatronic animals. If you've ever experienced one of these restaurants before, you were probably one of two things. Either you loved it, or you were scared every time that fake thunder went off. But there is one thing that this cafe has that some other themed restaurants don't, and that's mascots. Most notably, their primary mascot, Cha-Cha the Tree Frog. This larger-than-life frog has been with the company from nearly the beginning, and is now one of the most iconic and nostalgic symbols of any restaurant chain. And there's also quite a bit of history involving him and his friends. So in this video, I will be talking about all of the many animal mascots that call the Rainforest Cafe home. From Chimpan A to Chimpan Z, this is the history of Rainforest Cafe mascots. Oh, by the way, this video is a semi-collaboration with YouTube user Chatty Chucky, who helped me out with finding some of these costumes, so thanks man! Before I talk about this amazing amphibian and his gang of wild animals, I want to quickly go over the place that they call home, Rainforest Cafe. Rainforest Cafe was founded on February 3rd, 1994, and opened its first location in the Mall of America in Bloomington, Minnesota. It was created by Stephen Schussler, a relatively unknown businessman who also founded other themed restaurants like Galaxy Drive-In, Yak and Yeti, and T-Rex Cafe. He wanted to make a new restaurant after his first restaurant, Jukebox Saturday Night, filed for bankruptcy. In 1989, Stephen transformed his home into a rainforest-inspired restaurant. This was the prototype for Rainforest Cafe. This half-a-million-dollar restaurant was complete with fake plants, loud tropical music, and real animals like a baboon, an iguana, two tortoises, several exotic fish, and many exotic birds. After many failed investments, this eventually caught the eyes of Lyle Berman, the chairman of the board of Grand Casinos Incorporated. He then invited Schussler and a few other investors to create the restaurant we know today as Rainforest Cafe. Today there are about 20 Rainforest Cafes around the world, including one at Disney Springs and one at Disney's Animal Kingdom at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. But now going back to the beginning, this is where our mascot story begins. So I'm not actually sure if there were any mascot costumes present at the first location's opening. It's also unclear if Rainforest Cafe even had a mascot when it first opened. That's not to say Rainforest Cafe was without characters. Of course you had the standard things like the animatronic animals and the fish tanks, but also in the early locations there were live birds. These would usually hang outside the front of the restaurant, or even be flying around inside the restaurant. Let's just hope they didn't poop on anyone's food. But the standout character wasn't even an animal. But it was still a valued rainforest being. Of course, I'm talking about the legend herself, Tracy Tree. Tracy is an animatronic talking tree who is located in the gift shop portion of the restaurant. 
which is also the entrance, usually surrounded by stuffed animals. She doesn't do much other than talk about how great the rainforest is, and giving fun facts about real rainforests. She's actually looked the exact same since the late 90s. That is until the Malta location opened in 2021 with a brand new kid-friendly design. Over time, Tracy Tree became an icon to the Rainforest Cafe, even if most people found her to be creepy and terrifying. I can kind of see why. Also, on a side note, every time I see a talking tree like Tracy Tree, I always think of this one talking tree animatronic at Huber's Farm in Indiana. I saw that thing a lot, and it was creepy especially with its eyes slowly moving back and forth, and its mouth barely working. <sighs> By 1996, Rainforest Cafe continued to grow and expand, and so the company decided it was time to introduce a proper mascot. But not just that, but also a whole gang of colorful animals to join said mascot. Introducing the Wild Bunch the Rainforest Cafe's newest mascots. These guys were created as a way to promote their new retail expansion. Rainforest Cafe was so confident in these characters that they had hoped to branch out the characters for books, cartoons, and even a movie. Quoting Senior Vice President of Retail for Rainforest Cafe, they are our Mickey, our Minnie, or our Bugs Bunny. There are eight characters and each one has their own personality traits and characteristics. There's Bamba the Gorilla, Nile the Crocodile, Iggy the Iguana, Ozzy the Orangutan, Rio the Macaw, Maya the Jaguar, and Tuki the Elephant. Oh, and how can I forget Cha-Cha the Red-Eyed Tree Frog, the main and primary mascot for the company? I should mention that when these guys were first introduced, they had designs that more closely resembled real animals, but most of those were dropped by 2000 to more cartoony designs that are still used today. One last thing, I want to talk about some of the merchandise of these guys. There's plushies, action figures, this money bank, a mug, t-shirts, and the kind of famous Rainforest Cafe cups. I actually own this little Rainforest Cafe magnet with my name on it. I got it from when I went to Disney World in 2013. Oh, and of course the logo all has the mascots represented, besides the elephant and the orangutan. I wonder why that is. Why are they not on it? I will now go into the history of all the different Cha-Cha mascot costumes and Cha-Cha as a whole. I will talk about the other characters and their costumes later in the video. Enticing. Adventurous, tropical, exotic, spectacular. Rainforest Cafe, a wild place to shop and eat. Before I talk about the costumes, I want to quickly talk about Cha-Cha's personality. So originally, when he was first created, he was made to have a sassy attitude. But later on, he became a wide-eyed adventurer, as well as curiously brave. He's always the practical joker, and likes to laugh and show off. Now unfortunately, there's no real timeline on when most of these costumes were used, or what company created them. So bear with me here as I try my best to figure out when these costumes were used. This photo claims to show the first ever Cha-Cha costume. Given its off-model appearance, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the first costume. Now you will almost immediately notice the mouth area. You can literally see the dude's face. I guess you could say the frog's got a human in his throat. <laughs> Anyway, this design gets almost everything wrong with Cha-Cha's design. At least for the head. The body's pretty good. The head is way too round, and again, the mouth is completely wrong. It's way too small, and they really should have added mesh to cover the performer's face. Even the eyes are wrong. They're too small and too round. I kind of wish we had more photos of this costume, just so I can see if there are more that existed. 
because I'm not sure if this costume was used only at one location, or if multiples exist for different locations. I'm also not sure how long this costume was used for, but it couldn't have been for that long. Although I think this photo dates back to 2006, so it probably lasted until then. I don't know how. At least the next costume looks better than this one. The next costume dates back to the year 2000. This is the only photo I could find of the costume, and I'm not sure how long it was used for. This costume is so much better than the last one. It seems the costume designers actually bothered to get the character's design right. Everything is the correct size and proportions. Although the head does look a little small, but that's not too big of a deal. And speaking of the head, this Cha-Cha's head is connected to the body, similar to those newer Jeffrey the Giraffe costumes. You can see a little bit of the person's shirt under the armpit, meaning that the arms are actually separate from the rest of the body. I've also noticed the fabric is a different material from the last costume. It almost looks like velvet, or something a little bit softer than normal fleece. Overall, this is a very nice costume, a huge improvement over the last costume. I'm really wondering if it was used at other locations, it's so well done, it would be shocking if it was only used at one location. But this next costume was certainly used at other locations. In fact, you might have actually seen this costume. Rainforest Cafe, proud sponsor of PBS Kids, reminding you that reading and creative thinking are great ways to let your imagination run wild. In 2000, the company Landry's Incorporated purchased Rainforest Cafe for $75 million, much to the dismay of Stephen Schussler. For those of you who don't know, Landry's is a privately owned company who operates other dining and entertainment centers. Some of their other attractions they own include the downtown aquariums in Houston, Texas and Denver, Colorado, Joe's Crab Shack, and what's probably their other well-known restaurant besides Rainforest Cafe, Bubba Gump Shrimp. So with new owners, Rainforest Cafe began to make some changes. These include menu items and the restaurant decor. The most unfortunate change was the removal of the live birds, but this was because it was too expensive, since the birds cost each restaurant over $100,000. One positive change to come out of this acquisition was that Landry's really helped shape Cha-Cha into what he is today. They began to use Cha-Cha more and more, living up to the original idea of him being the company's very own Mickey Mouse. He was getting even more merchandise than the other characters, such as more action figures, t-shirts, plushies, and even this cool hand puppet. There's also this animated doll by the company, Jimmy. This also includes brand new mascot costumes, but more specifically one that was used at pretty much every location. Sometime in the early 2000s, a brand new Cha-Cha mascot costume began to be used. I will refer to this costume as Big Head Cha-Cha. Why? Well, it's because he has such a big head. I mean, it's huge! It's not as big as those vintage Disneyland costumes, but it's still big. It's probably even bigger than Chuck E. Cheese's head. At least his eyes are the right size, but it is weird how he has white around his pupils. Some costumes have a little amount of white, while others... Yeah, they might as well make his eyes white. At least they aren't as bad as this guy's eyes. While on the topic of his head, can we talk about his large open mouth? Like I know Cha-Cha's cartoon design has a large mouth, but it isn't this big. The other design had a mouth that was a normal accurate size. This one literally looks like a black rectangle. Although that was probably done to give the performer more vision, since that's all they look out of. And that goes for every costume. The body is actually pretty good. It has the right proportions and balances out the oversized head. The feet are also correctly large and orange. However, the feet on the older costumes are mostly hidden due to the lack of photos, so I don't know what those looked like. 
Now, I should mention something about this costume that I'm not a big fan of. This is going to sound wrong, but it's the color. You see, Cha-Cha's skin color is a bright light green, but this costume gives Cha-Cha more of a lighter lime green color. However, not every Cha-Cha costume is this color. Some of them are the correct green color, so it's possible that the lime green costumes are probably sun damaged. But then again, this Cha-Cha barely goes outside. This doesn't just apply to the green parts either, but it also applies to the orange hands and feet, and especially the yellow parts, as those are oftentimes looking more tan than yellow. Although it could just be from the costumes being old and dirty. This is normally where I would talk about different mascot costume variants. However, this Cha-Cha costume doesn't seem to have any variants. Or at least I couldn't find any. The only one I could find was around 2008, Cha-Cha began wearing a tan safari vest, which would later become a permanent addition to this costume. It also appears that some costumes had different shaped heads, which looked bad. I thought this was Cha-Cha, not Kermit the Frog. Other than that, there's nothing else I could find. With a new parent company running the Rainforest Cafe, the restaurant continued expansion, and along with that, more marketing, in which Cha-Cha was involved with. This Cha-Cha costume began to be used outside the restaurant, whether he's participating in a mascot basketball game, giving the middle finger with a gorilla, or in one instance, interacting with gaming icon Sonic the Hedgehog. Cha-Cha has been there and done that. In this video, he even rode around on a scooter while carrying a lion plush dancing to the song We Built This City. In terms of making appearances in the restaurant itself, he doesn't come out every day like Chuck E. Cheese does, but usually if there's a large crowd or if there's a special event going on like a Christmas, Easter, or Halloween event, he will definitely show up. Same goes for any large-scale birthday parties or grand openings. You might want to call your local Rainforest Cafe and ask if there are any events coming up if you really want to meet this cha-cha. Did you guys know cha-cha is actually a famous movie star? Well, yes. He has actually made one appearance in a Hollywood movie. The film was the 2009 cult classic Paul Blart Mall Cop. It's the scene where Paul Blart battles a gang of villains inside a Rainforest Cafe. Did you see Cha-Cha? No? Well, I'll show you. Here he is. Yep, that's his film appearance. A few seconds of screen time and never played a major role in the film. Also, it wasn't even the mascot costume. It was the statue of him that's on the menu. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the statues. Yeah, so throughout all Rainforest Cafe locations, there are several statues and sculptures of our beloved tree frog. Most of them aren't anything too special, but there's a few that are. For example, there's this one in the main gift shop where he's holding a globe. Kind of reminds me of the old Sega World London statue of Sonic holding a globe. There's this one that is a photo op that you can take pictures with. Sort of like those old Ronald McDonald statues you see on benches. It's the exact same concept. And last but not least, there's the giant one that stood atop of the Rainforest Cafe location in downtown Chicago. Sadly, this location has since closed, and the current whereabouts of this cha-cha are unknown. But going back to Paul Blart Mall Cop, I do wish cha-cha could have had more screen time, but I totally understand why. Kevin James wouldn't talk to animals for another two years after that. Also on a side note, did anyone else get upset at the part where Paul Blart blew up the Rainforest Cafe? I remember being very sad at that scene. I just didn't like seeing the restaurant destroyed. It's even sadder when you find out that this exact Rainforest Cafe location, located in the Burlington Mall in Massachusetts, closed for good in 2016. But that's besides the point. I think I'm getting off topic here. Let's get back to the mascot costume timeline. The last thing I want to mention is there's actually another costume that was used around the same time this costume was being used. This other costume is actually pretty great. It looks exactly like the cartoon character. Every part of this costume is sized correctly, and the colors are all correct. 
His head and body are actually one piece connected, unlike the other costumes, which all have separate headpieces. This is the main factor into why this costume is the most accurate out of all the suits. Though it probably wasn't comfortable for the performers, so that's probably why they changed it. My only complaint with the costume is that the legs and arms look to be made from a different fabric from the body piece. They appear to be shiny, which makes this costume look very strange. And speaking of the legs, I always found it weird that this Cha-Cha costume in particular had very buff humanoid legs. But this is actually accurate to the cartoon design, since his legs are also somewhat muscular. Now, it's a bit of a mystery as to when this Cha-Cha costume was retired. It seems to have only been used at a handful of locations, and all the photos look extremely old, so it was probably short-lived. I did find a photo of it at the Rainforest Cafe in Disneyland Paris that dates back to 2008, so it was most likely gone after that. As for the big head Cha-Cha, he stuck around the restaurants until around 2010 before being replaced with the next costume we will look at. However, an interesting thing to note is that the Rainforest Cafe location in London actually still uses this costume. Yeah, so they never did get the next costume we will look at, and they still use the big head cha-cha. In fact, in 2013, this cha-cha costume ended up achieving the Guinness World Record for the most amount of hugs by a mascot in under a minute. Which is actually a thing. He got a total of 56 hugs which is an additional 8 hugs compared to the previous record holder. Sadly, this record has since been broken by other mascots, but at least Cha-Cha can say that he once beat a world record. Very proud of that frog. Hey guys, future Nathan Spees here. I just wanted to interrupt this video to let you guys know I found another costume of Cha-Cha while editing this video. This Cha-Cha costume was also created in the 2000s, and it looks suspiciously similar to the next costume we will be looking at. I actually think it's the prototype to the next costume we will be looking at. But yeah, I just wanted to interrupt this video just to show you guys this costume that I didn't get to talk about. So yeah, uh, now back to your regularly scheduled program. Rainforest Cafe, proud sponsor of Curious George, reminding you that anyone can make the world a brighter place by conserving our natural resources. When you're saving one can, you're, you're saving, saving two, two cans. cans. Around 2009, Rainforest Cafe introduced a new mascot costume of Cha-Cha. And if you guys never saw the other Cha-Cha at your local restaurant, then you probably saw this costume. It's the most common. Unlike the last costumes, I actually know what company made this Cha-Cha costume. It was designed by a lesser-known mascot costume company, Madewell Mascots. And they really haven't done too many things you might recognize, as they mostly make mascots for colleges and minor league teams. But they have created costumes based off popular characters like the Geico Gecko, the Bubble Guppies, and even that one Chips Ahoy cookie mascot. I must say that even though Madewell Mascots isn't as recognizable as Olympus Group or International Mascots Inc., their work is quite impressive. I would even say it's made well. Okay, I'll see myself out. Let's go over the costume itself, starting with the head. The head is once again a separate piece and is downsized, probably to add more comfort to the performer. His eyes are normal, and his mouth isn't weird looking like the other one. His body is just a normal green jumpsuit with yellow front. His hands are interesting as the fingers have been made longer. It definitely matches the original design, but I'm starting to wonder how he can hold things. His feet are nothing too fancy, but I did notice that some costumes didn't have the normal frog feet, but rather normal human-sized orange house shoes. I'm not sure why those are there. Maybe this was early on in the costume's development, and they hadn't made the feet yet. And last but not least, he's once again wearing his now permanent safari vest. Although sometimes he chose not to wear it. While on the topic of different clothes, this cha-cha costume actually has variants. First off, during my time researching and looking at photos, 
I've noticed that there seems to be different versions of this costume. Some costumes are a light green color, while others are more of a normal green color. Some have just overall lighter colors, and the others have darker colors, not just the green parts. In terms of actual outfit variants, here he is wearing what I think is a Halloween mask. Here he is wearing a tropical swimsuit. Here he is in a blue Rainforest Cafe shirt with, with a Hawaiian necklace. Here he is in a black shirt at some sort of outdoor festival. And finally, I'm not sure if this counts, but this costume has Cha-Cha wearing very dirty white gloves. And last but not least, I found two completely different Cha-Cha costumes that have a very similar design to this costume. There's this version, which kind of looks like a bootleg costume, and then there's this costume, which looks better, but it still looks cheaply made. At least he's got that holiday drip, though. Just like the last version, this cha-cha was used for promotional events and other forms of marketing. Similar to other modern-day company mascots, he was used much more than any other costume. This cha-cha has done so many events that it's impossible to cover every single one in this video, but here's a couple I found. Most of the events included him interacting with other mascots, such as at a Houston mascot basketball game, holiday events with Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny, and of course, how can any of us forget when in 2019 Rainforest Cafe workers went on strike, and cha-cha joined them? Yeah. Moving on. And that brings us to today. As of April 2022, this cha-cha costume is alive and well, and still being used at nearly every single restaurant. But we're not quite done yet, as I still haven't talked about all of cha-cha's friends. You know, the rest of the wild bunch. Don't think I forgot about them. Rainforest Cafe at Fisherman's Wharf is part adventure, part restaurant, and fully entertaining for the whole family. You'll have a wild time in our indoor tropical rainforest, complete with a cool waterfall, lush vegetation, and indigenous creatures. Our menu features an array of delicious items and tropical treats, from mouth-watering appetizers and exotic salads, to creative pastas, burgers, seafood, steak, and chicken entrees. End your journey with the out-of-this-world sparkling volcano dessert, overflowing with chocolate and sweet goodness. At Rainforest Cafe, we cater to kids. Kids aged 10 and under can enjoy enticing entrees from our exciting kids' menu. Our lovable Cha-Cha and the Wild Bunch are also here to make sure children of all ages have a great time while exploring the rainforest. It's not just another meal, it's an adventure. Rainforest Cafe, a wild place to shop and eat. As mentioned earlier in the video, Cha-Cha isn't the only mascot character that Rainforest Cafe uses. There is an entire cast of creatures that also represent the restaurant. Well, this is their chapter to shine, as all of these other characters have at least something to their name, whether it's a costume or any other themed memorabilia. I will now talk about each character individually and explain a little bit about them. First, there's Ozzy the Orangutan. Ozzy is a rascal and a clown, but is also big-hearted. He'd share his last banana with you. Although he's forever an optimist, Ozzy sometimes lacks common sense. He is also Cha-Cha's best friend. Now, for the longest time, Ozzy didn't have a mascot costume made of him. That was until earlier this year, in 2022. A costume was finally made, and is currently used at the Rainforest Cafe in London. And I must say, this costume looks great. Although that's probably unfair since it is the most recent costume. But it's still a great suit. I mean, it looks exactly like Ozzy. But I will say the face can look a little creepy from certain angles, though. But overall, it's a great costume. I like it. It's very accurate to the character. Which is more than what I can say about these other characters. Next up is Tuki the Baby African Elephant. Tuki is the only character that has a last name. Her full name is Tuki Makita. She is amusing and loves peanut butter. She has a huge imagination and idolizes Bamba the Gorilla, who we will get to later. 
Now, Tuki doesn't just have one costume, but she has two. The first one is this costume, which this is the only photo I could find of it. And yeah, this looks bad. It's those eyes. Why are they facing two separate directions? And what's going on with those dog-looking ears? Although maybe all these inaccuracies are a result in this being an early costume, like that one Cha-Cha costume. Maybe this was one of the first costumes made for the restaurant, or maybe the costume designers just didn't care. There is, however, a second Tukey the Elephant costume, and it looks a lot better. It's actually the right color gray this time, and looks closer to the cartoon design. This costume is exclusive to the London Rainforest Cafe. My only issues are the ears are a little too floppy and kind of block the face a little bit, but it's not like that all the time. There's also the face. For some reason, she has pretty thick eyebrows and a darker shade of gray above the eyes. It kind of makes Tukey look like a guy, although the dark gray above the eyes might be where the person inside looks out of. The last issue I have is the inclusion of fingers, but I can understand why the costume designers didn't give her fingers, since it would be difficult to hold things with elephant hands, even though Big Al doesn't have hands and he can still hold things. Overall, Tukey's costumes are flawed, but still a welcome addition to the Rainforest Cafe costume family. Next, there's Rio the Macaw. No, not that Rio. I'm talking about Rio the Scarlet Macaw. Rio is truly an adventurous beauty and a wishful dreamer. Rio is free-spirited and has a passion for dance. She especially likes to do the samba. Rio only has one costume, at least to my knowledge, and it is once again used at the London Rainforest Cafe. This is the only photo I could find of her which is sad because the costume is actually quite nice. Really, the only issues I have are the eyes are kind of weird as they don't look anything like Rio's actual eyes, some yellow parts of her design are orange, and she's a little on the chubby side. Which, hey, I'm not shaming her, it's just that the original design isn't like that. Although maybe this was done so any gender can dress up as Rio. But yeah, that's it for Rio. It's a pretty good costume, but it does have some very noticeable flaws. Next is Bamba the Gorilla. He is the strong silent type and is a protector. And though direct with words, he is kind and fair. So basically he's a gentle giant. Bamba, similar to Tuki, has two different costumes. And this first one here is, oh my god Bamba, what did they do to you? This costume is strange. I mean, it looks better than the Tuki costume, but it still isn't good. And just like that costume, Bamba has eyes going two separate directions. Why do they keep doing this? At least he's got a huge gorilla chest. But hey, he isn't the worst costume I've seen. And besides, he's wearing a tie-dye t-shirt in this picture, so that automatically makes him not a horrible costume. But he is horrible compared to this next costume. This other Bomba costume is the complete opposite to the previous one, in that it looks great. It's on model with the actual design, even if the fur is a little too dark. I will say that his face is giving me really bad Monkey Joe vibes. Who wants a history video on that guy? It's kind of sad, I could only find two photos of this Bamba. I really want to see him in motion. But what makes this even sadder is that he hasn't been seen since these photos were taken in 2007. He should still be used. However, there is a likely reason he's not being used anymore. You see, this costume was only ever used at the Rainforest Cafe locations in Mexico, and all those locations have been closed for over 10 years now. But with that being said, I don't know why they can't bring him to the States. I'm probably just overthinking this whole situation, but anyway, the Bomba costumes are both great and also pretty bad. A similar situation also happens with the next character. The next character is Nile the Crocodile, he has a voracious appetite and loves excitement, even though he's short-tempered with a hard exterior. He used to catch poachers and turn them into justice. He's calculating and not easily charmed, although he is proud of his gold tooth which glows in the dark. However, his gold tooth doesn't get the justice it deserves with the costumes of Nile, especially with this verse version, and I am 100% certain 
This costume was created by the same people who did the first Cha-Cha costume. Why? Well, look at his mouth. You can see the person's face in the mouth. I'll give him props for trying, as at least Niall has teeth the person's face can hide behind. This guy is not surprisingly off-model, but I'll let it slide since it's one of the first costumes made for the company. But I don't understand why he has a pink belly here. Shouldn't it be yellow or white? At least later costumes had a green belly. This other Nile costume is pretty unique, as instead of it being a normal fur character type of mascot, it's an inflatable costume. It reminds me a lot of the Sonic costume used at Gameworks Arcades and Sega Joy Polis in Japan. This costume is very accurate to his modern design. All the costumes are right and proportions are a little wonky, but it's an inflatable costume. Sometimes you have to make modifications for certain costume restrictions. The only thing I don't like besides the very obvious zipper line is the Rainforest Cafe logo printed on his chest. Like, I know he's supposed to represent the brand, but you could have given him a shirt or something better than just putting the logo on his chest. Or maybe let's just say it's a tattoo. Anyway, this costume, similar to the awesome Bomba costume, was only ever used at the Mexican Rainforest Cafe locations, and it's very unlikely he still exists today, since he is an inflatable costume. The second to last character is Maya the Jaguar. Maya is a jungle wise and clever and a regal feline, who is also the courageous leader. Living on the edge, Maya is the protector of the rainforest. I'm not actually sure what Maya's gender is. I mean, Maya is traditionally a girl's name, but this could be a male jaguar. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to say it's a she. Surprisingly, Maya only has one costume made, which is strange since you would think the big cat character would be one of the more popular characters, but I guess not. It also seems that this costume was only used at the Galveston, Texas location, but I could be wrong. This is the costume, and the first thing you may notice besides a similar pink belly to Nile the Crocodile is the lack of spots. Well, that's where I got you, my friend, as she does have spots, you just have to look really closely. The face is pretty off-putting, and the nose just looks really weird. I don't think a jaguar nose looks like that. She kind of looks like Elmo a little bit. Especially with those giant bulging eyes. The next costume is actually the same costume, but the spots are more visible and the belly isn't pink. So technically there's two costumes, but I'm counting it as one since it's the same design, just different colors. But this one definitely looks way better than the last one. And last but not least is Iggy the Iguana. He is ever watchful and the oldest and wisest of the Wild Bunch. He's also quite the philosopher. Iggy listens to the opera and has delusions of grandeur. And also, Iggy is Maya's conscience. Unfortunately, Iggy is the only character in the Wild Bunch that doesn't have a mascot costume. That's right, there has never, as to my knowledge, been an Iggy Iguana mascot suit. But considering the fact that Ozzy just now got a costume... I wouldn't be surprised if Iggy gets one in a few years, or even next year. But on that note, this officially concludes the history of Rainforest Cafe mascots. And there you have it, the history of the many mascots and characters of Rainforest Cafe. I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode, I had so much fun making it. Rainforest Cafe is one of my favorite restaurants of all time, and I'm really hoping more U.S. locations will open one day. Special thanks to Chatty Chucky for helping out with some information and costumes. I couldn't have done this video without you. Make sure you go subscribe to him, and while you're at it, go follow him on Instagram at chatty underscore chuck. Or if you want to know more about Rainforest Cafe, you can follow his second account at Rainforest Cafe Archive. Tell him Nathan sent you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And comment down below which Rainforest Cafe mascot is your favorite. As well as any fun or nostalgic memories you have of visiting the restaurant. I'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on the History of Series. Bye bye
Now what does the rainforest tell you yet? The place is dense and warm and wet. At the equator, the whole world round, where the trees come up and the rain comes down. Rainforest, jungles where the wild things grow, from the Amazon to Borneo. Rainforest, every kind of creature assures you're born, from the tropical Cancer to Capricorn. Everything grows in the vines and shoots, flowers and brush and the trees and fruits. Rainforest. Rain comes down, the trees come up With the parrots and the plants and the elephants Rainforest Snakes and sloths and the birds that sing Lizards, frogs, every living thing Saddleback, caterpillar, stag beetle boom Butterflies, turtlefish, call it home Rainforest Bats and bugs, bonobos too Gorillas and chimps and the wild baboon Sticks out his tongue, turns a different color when a big snake comes. From the one horned rhino to the orangutan, coming rare by the ways of man. Bush baby climbs to the underbrush. Rainforest. Waterfalls and sweet perfume. Hummingbirds and the orchids bloom. Rainforest. Rainforest. Jungles where the wild things go from the Amazon to the Borneo. Kind of creature assures you're born from tropic cancer to Capricorn. What is the rainforest to tell you yet? The place is dense and warm and wet. At the equator, the whole world round, where the trees come up and the rain comes down. Rain.